What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be playing with a bunch of new random makeup products. I love doing these videos. I think that they are super helpful for you guys. Um, usually when I like go to Ulta or Sephora, I will set aside a few things that I bought and kind of just get a collection together of makeup that I've wanted to test out or that I've been waiting to play with things that are new at the store, things that I've just never tried before and just now have an interest in. Because I like to do these as like a full face first impressions, that way you get the most amount of information packed into one video rather than just doing like onesies and twosies. I know not every single product I'm about to show you is new or just launched or released. These are products that are new to me. I'm pretty sure that I have an entire full face aside from brows because I don't, I don't fuck with my brow routine. Like, I do what I do and that's kind of like it. Oh, I don't have a new foundation either. Hmm. But I have primer, concealer, setting powder. I even have a mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow, setting spray, blush. Like, I think I have, let's say 80% of a face sitting in front of me. So if you are interested in seeing me test out some new and old random makeup products, then let's get started. So this portion of the video might look a little bit funky. I actually turned off two of my lights up here and switched out the camera lens um, just to give you guys a better zoom. And like, I've had an issue lately with my up close shots being a little bit like washed out and overexposed. So I'm trying something new here, so bear with me. I just want you guys to be able to see really, really well what's going on. And I just, I don't know, lately it's been annoying me that I can't capture like all detail on camera. Sometimes I have too many lights going on. So I do have a primer to start with. This is the Nor, Nor? This is the No Problem Primer and Priming Eraser Set. This is by Touch and Soul. You can purchase this at Ulta and I think I got this from Ulta, but I think they sell it at Sephora as well, I'm pretty sure. So this is what it looks like. Um, you get the No Problem Primer and then you get the No Problem Priming Eraser. So I don't know about this whole eraser situation. Basically it says it's a primer with a silky texture that leaves a smooth canvas for makeup. It's kind of like a pore filling, obviously, hence the name. It says it fills in fine lines and pores, contains green tea extract collagen, and also has a great sebum, sebum control effect, which gives a long lasting makeup throughout the day. So just apply half to one pump, no problem primer to your face and blend outwards. So I'm just gonna use the regular no problem. Oh, that's like runny, can you see that? I thought it was gonna be like a thick like silicone -y primer. Ew, it feels weird. Okay, so I'm gonna concentrate this in my T-zone. I am gonna spread it all over my face, but just focusing it in my T-zone to start with. Ew, this feels so like greasy. This feels like an oil slick on my face. It's like a combo of like silicone and oil. I'm not sure if I'm loving this. I do not have a new foundation to try, but I do have the new Morphe Jeffree Star makeup sponges. It's the Beauty Sponge Trio. It comes in a package like this. I'm just gonna go in with my L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in 425. These sponges, I did not purchase myself. They were gifted to me. I don't... I don't know how I feel about these Morphe sponges. I was gonna buy them because they're limited edition and they are Jeffree Star, but sometimes I like the Morphe sponges and then other times I'm like, these are so like, can you hear that? Like they're really dense and not very soft and, but it's really weird because, so I wet one of the smaller ones too and this guy is like so squishy and soft and amazing. I love it. Why can't the big one be like this guy? So quite honestly, I don't know if I'm loving the way this primer is making my skin look. I feel like I look like really oily and like kind of greasy and I don't know. So I do have a new concealer to test out. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I have mine in the shade Light 10 here. I haven't really heard much about like ColourPop face products. 
So this is what it looks like here. It has kind of a doe foot applicator, like the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin, like that flat paddle. It's really creamy though. I'm gonna take the mini Jeffree Star sponge and blend this out. It's blending out really nicely. I definitely like this mini sponge better than the big one. I don't know, to me, like this one is just like so much more stiff. This is like really bouncy and I like it a lot better. That looks pretty good. I would say this is like medium to full coverage. It's not as like thick as Shape Tape or like my Huda Beauty, but I really like this so far. I think this is nice. And the color I got is actually decent. It's not horrible. Usually I pick concealers that are like far too light for me, but this blended into the foundation really, really nicely. I like it. I'm gonna add just a touch more. Like I have some veins here that I just need to cover really badly and a little bit more in the inner corner. This one would be nice for like no makeup makeup days. I don't know that I would use this for like a super, super full coverage look. But I mean, this one's pretty for like everyday makeup. To set our face, I have this Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. Um, I've seen Jaclyn Hill talk about this like a million times. So I was like, if Jaclyn Hill uses it, like I need to use it then, obviously. So this is what it looks like here. Ooh, it has this like snap lid. Love when powders have this like this like nice sifter situation going on here. It's the little things in life, you know? Taking the mini Jeffree Star sponge, I'm just going to kind of like bake my, not bake because I'm not gonna leave it on there, but I'm just gonna tap this powder into my skin. Whoa. So there is a very clear reason why Jaclyn Hill obsesses over this powder. I look so airbrushed and smooth. I am a big fan of this. Alrighty, so I went ahead and slapped on some brows and contour because I realized I did not have any of those to play with today. But I think I wanna go ahead and finish my face makeup before I move on to eyes and lips and all that stuff. So I have this Cali Kissed Smashbox Highlight and Blush Palette right here. Um, this was also sent to me. I did not purchase this with my own money. I think this packaging is so cute. It's really pretty. Um, I don't know if I necessarily would have, this is what it looks like, would have bought this myself. Um, the colors are a little bit different for me, but I really do want to test it out and see how I like it because that's usually when I find things that I really like is when I'm like a little bit caught off guard. Um, so I'm just gonna, for blush, go into this blush right here, this kind of peachy orangey blush, and I think this is called Persimmon. And I'm just going to, with a very light hand, because this looks hella pigmented, I'm just going to just, oh yeah, she's, <laughs> she's, she's pigmented. Is this for deep skin tones, do we think? Does this only come in one shade? This looks a little bit dark. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. So I don't know if you can see, but these do have a little bit of a glow to them. They're very, very pigmented. So if you want to purchase this or are interested in this, use a very light hand would be my guidance. Um, we're pretty peachy. This is really pretty. This like, is that a highlight? Hmm. You can't really see it though. Is that just like a sparkly overlay? Is that a blush topper? Ooh, it's like iridescent, like ready pink. Can you see that? I'm kind of confused by this palette. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't know. I do wanna try one of the highlights in this palette, but before we get to that, I do wanna set my face. This is a technique I've been doing for a very, very long time is where I like to set my face and then the highlight can kind of like adhere to something wet. So it looks even more like foiled and metallic. Um, so I wanna try out the new Forsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. So this is the 24 karat gold infused and you can hydrate, prime, and set with this. So I'm going to set with this because we obviously already primed. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna shake this guy up because I don't know if you can see that, but it does have like really pretty gold flakes in it. I'm just gonna spray this. I just wanna see what the pump looks like. The spritz. Ooh, it smells good. Ooh, 
It smells like almost fruity. So now before that dries down, I'm like super dewy. I'm gonna go into the palette again and take this highlight. This is Pink Nighty, I think is what this one right here is called. This is like an iridescent pink highlight. I don't, I'm not really feeling this palette, I'm not gonna lie. I don't see myself reaching for this again. The colors are kind of weird. The colors I think in this are just too dark for my skin and I don't like like a pinky undertone. And that's kind of weird to me. These looked like they would be like really pretty and bronzy, but they all have like pink in them. And I just, I don't really care for that. This skin mist I like, I would kind of treat this as like my Tatcha dewy skin mist. I'd probably use this more as like a prep step than a setting step because I like to use my Urban Decay All Nighter. It just makes my makeup last the longest. I think that this would be really, really nice as like a primer water or something hydrating in addition to your regular primer. So now that we are pretty much done with the face, I wanna move on to eyes. Um, and I have this Too Faced Natural Lust eyeshadow palette. So I was considering buying this and then I just didn't because I was like, oh, I have so many shades that look exactly like this. Like, do I really need like a natural neutral palette again? So I was lucky enough to get this sent to me so I can still play with it now. And then looking at it in person, like, it's really pretty, you guys. These are all my tones. I would probably use every single color in this palette. Just gonna do kind of an easy eyeshadow look today because I don't wanna bore you. And you do get a really nice size mirror in this guy too. And like half my brushes aren't clean, so I'm not gonna do anything too intricate today. Um, but I'm going to take this shade right here called Love Language, this guy right here. It's kind of just like a creamy brown, nice transition shade. And I'm just gonna buff this a little bit above my crease. Next, I'm gonna go in this with this shade, like right, right, this guy right here, um, called Fall Hard, and I'm just gonna place this a little bit lower. And then just to kind of play with the shimmers and see how those perform, I'm gonna go in with Love Spark right here, this like champagne-y, pinky, gold, shimmer shade and I'm actually gonna take that on my finger. These feel pretty hard actually, they're not like super, super creamy. It's pretty. I'm not like blown away by it though. Hmm. It's nice, but nothing I would write home about. Um, just to deepen up the eye look a little bit more, I'm going to take this just like mid-tone brown right here um, called Set in Stone. And I'm just gonna focus this like in the outer corner just to add a little bit of depth to the eye. So I would say the mattes in this palette blend really, really well. I think that this was a pretty easy eye look. It didn't take me that long at all. Um, I just wanna swatch a few more of these though. I'm gonna go into a Peep Show right here. Then I'm gonna go into peacocking. Let's go into pin down and then on fire. I just wanna see like, this color on fire is so much creamier than the other shimmers. Like that one's kind of like eh to me. This blue teal color is pretty, but these are just, packed really hard. The mattes, I would say, are super creamy and very pigmented though. I really, really do like the formula of the mattes. All in all, I think this palette is really pretty. Um, I think this might be something I'll actually stick in my kit just to have some extra like neutral shadows on hand. These would be really pretty for like younger clients, like maybe prom season, or these are really pretty bridal colors as well. So I think it's a pretty palette. I'm not like obsessed with it, but I think I would definitely use it again. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you would know I am obsessed with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And when I was sent this product, I actually thought it was the mascara, but this is their new eyeliner which I'm really excited about. It's the Perfection in One Stroke 24 Hour Non-Fading Long Wear Waterproof Easy Glide Formula Intense Pigment Load. And it's a dual fiber brush. It's basically like an eyeliner pen. 
Um, and I have mine in the shade Deepest Black. So I think I wanna attempt a wing. Oh my God, I haven't done winged eyeliner in so long. I used to exclusively wear winged eyeliner and now I just, it doesn't do it for me anymore. But I really wanna test out this guy and see how like precise and black and matte it is. So this is what it looks like. It has the same packaging as the mascara, obviously just not as fat. Let's see how pigmented it is. Does this need to be shaken? Cause that's not that pigmented. That's a little better. The brush is really nice. It is like a nice felt tip design, but it is like actual brush hairs. Um, so, Pray for me. I gotta like hold my breath. I can't talk and do this at the same time. I gotta like hold my breath while I do this. So I do have a mascara to play with, the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I've been really intrigued by Milk Makeup lately. I wanna try all their products. They're so unique and just different. I've heard really, really great things about the mascara and also their brow product. So this is the tube right here. This is heavy, like this has some weight to it. Um, it looks really cool though. I'm so excited to try this. What does the brush look like? That's a big brush. I personally love like large mascara brushes. Before I apply, I'm going to curl my lashes really quickly. I personally think curling your lashes is absolutely useless. Like, especially for me, eyelash curlers don't really work, but I've been trying really hard to get into it and to convince myself that this is something I need to do in order to make my mascara look better. And I don't really feel like applying falsies today. So, okay, despite the fact I can't apply mascara like an adult and have it all over my eyelid, this is, this is pretty nice. My lashes look pretty separated. It's kind of hard to tell because of the eyeliner. I probably shouldn't have done that, but this is definitely a volumizing mascara, not a lengthening. So for lips, I was sent this this Ulta Beauty Kylie Lip Kit. This lip kit is made specifically for Ulta. The color is called Ulta Beauty. Um, I am testing this because I have an open mind. I tried Kylie Lip Kits like a year ago, I think it was, and I hate them. I hate, I don't hate them, I hated them. I did not like them upon first application. I had one that I just, had to toss and say goodbye to. It just, the formula was not, it wasn't, it just, it wasn't it for me. I just thought they were incredibly drying and I did not care for them at all. So I'm gonna give it a second chance because that's what we do here. Like all her lip kits, they come with the lip liner and then we got the lip color here. And her lip liners to me are actually like hella creamy and I have absolutely no issue with the lip liners. I think they're super nice quality. It's the liquid lips that I'm just like not crazy about. This color's pretty. The scent, first of all, is like too strong for me and the Dofa applicator is like really hard and doesn't bend at all. But like I said, we're here for second chances. We're gonna see if I still hate it or if I actually don't mind it. Oh, I hate the smell. I mean, I have to give it to her. These are super, super opaque. Um, I just prefer a formula. I don't know why I'm trying to talk and do this. I just prefer a formula that's not as runny, I guess. So this lip color is like a lot more magenta than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't, I don't love it. And the formula right now is not it's not bad, that's not what I have the issue with besides the fact that, I mean, it's a super, super matte formula, but you can see like all the lines and divots in my lips and they just look wrinkly and like kind of crusty. The issue I have with the Kylie formula is the ring that I'll start to get on the inside of my mouth and like it kind of like flakes off and balls up and this is, it gets stuck in my teeth and I like end up eating it and it just, it doesn't wear well for me. It's too dry, it's, I don't, I just, it doesn't look natural. It doesn't fade naturally. It doesn't like feather naturally. You just get like a really harsh line and a weird ring around your mouth, which I'm just not a fan of. I mean, this color's pretty. I think I would like it better with like a tan because I'm like my fairest possible right now. Um, but I mean, I don't hate it. 
I these I'm just I'm not gonna go out of my way to purchase more Kylie lip kits she does have some shades that I'm really really impressed with I think they're really really beautiful colors but I just try and find them in a formula I actually enjoy like dose of color Too Faced melted matte those are some of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas even Anastasia is still like a really great classic uh, the Stila ones are awesome. I just, I'm not gonna go out of my way to purchase more of these. With all of that being said, I am a massive fan of her lip liners. I think these are some of the creamiest lip liners I've used in my entire life. You do have to be a little bit careful with these though because they are so creamy. Sometimes it can be hard to get like a really, really sharp line. They're smudging, they're kind of going all over the place. You can't be as precise. But with a little bit of practice, you'll learn and these are just really comfortable to wear. I almost prefer like wearing just a lip liner on its own with one of her glosses on top. I think that's a really, really pretty look. Um, so if you're not crazy about the liquid lip, maybe try the lip liners and the lip glosses instead. All right, you guys, so that is everything in front of me tested. I hope you enjoyed watching me play with some new and old makeup, but new for me. Thank you so much for tuning in and enduring my horrible hairstyle today. I know it's disgusting. <laughs> Trust me, I know it's like day 57 of me not washing my hair, so we're working through it. But on a serious note, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that way you don't miss any of my future uploads. If there are ever any specific products you want me to test out or certain videos you want me to film, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always super, super eager to hear your guys' feedback and what you guys want to see. I enjoy filming a ton of videos, but I wanna make sure that you are getting the content that you specifically want. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.